Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. It's been a week or two since we've made a video. We've got a lot of requests for more videos, and the question is always, what should we make it of? Anyway, for those of you who uh, are interested, you know, we're going to be at the uh, North American MGB Register event in Valley Forge in just about two weeks. So if you haven't, if you haven't met us and would like to, like to come by, we'd be happy to see you there. Anyway, Trevor's going to come in just a little bit, and uh, I want to talk to you about uh, the parking light circuits and the terrible danger you can have of burning them up. Let's take a look at the dashboard on this one. So here we have some wiring. Of course, the joke is that the wiring works until you let the smoke out of it. The smoke has been completely eliminated from these wires, and it's burned up. So you can imagine the horror of the owner. Uh, a wonderful gal. Actually, my wife owned this car at one point in the past. Anyway, she turned on the lights and smoke rolled from underneath the dash. And by the time they sh shut it off, we've got wiring here, which is all burned up. And, and oh my gosh. So the question was what had happened. And once I chased this circuit, which is this is the parking light circuit. Actually, it's the dash light circuit. Um, we came up over here to the clock. And it turned out that, that the illumination in the back of the clock had dead shorted. You can see how this guy is all, all crappy here, all right, and all burned up. It turned out that the, the uh, uh, illumination bulb had, had shorted, dead shorted in the clock. And since this is an unfused circuit all the way across the dash, it burned up, it burned up the dash circuit and began to burn up the hot circuit that went to it and a lot of associated wiring. This is not common, but it does happen. Let's go over and look at an MGA and, and talk about where this can happen there too. On the MGA, of course, we've got the headlight switch here, which takes power right from the battery, an unfused, an unfused circuit, and puts it into the red circuit. And the red circuit goes lots of places. It goes over to the dash lamp over here, to illuminate that when the parking lights are on. It goes to the dash rheostat to light up the dashboard and it goes out to all the corners of the car. The, the uh, parking light lenses and the license plate. The license plate lens. And for those of you who have wired an MGA, all it takes is to fold a wire incorrectly back here or underneath here. You turn on the parking lights and if you're not paying attention Within a couple of minutes, you see the smoke rolling out of your night's wiring loom, and you've completely lost the loom, and you have to completely rewire the car. Let me show you how a dollar item can prevent all this damage. This, just this, you can go to Nap and buy this. I don't know if it's a dollar, maybe it's three dollars. How, how could it be? It's so cheap. Anyway, this is a fuse holder. So you put a 10 amp fuse in here, clip this, and put this into your parking light uh, circuit right at the switch. That then prevents any kind of short from burning up the wiring. In the case of the MGA, you've got a switch which has got about five little tiny red wires, and they're all supposed to be stuffed underneath uh, uh, the S1 uh, location on the back of the switch which is impossible to get those, all those things in there. So if you take this guy, clip him, trim him, put one end of this into the switch, and bring the other end out, and put it, use a butt connector, then you can have six wires, this plus the five from the, from the red, red wires, and crimp that all, all up. Then you have a 10 amp protection on your parking light circuit. Let me tell you, when we put this car back together, we're going to put this in the red wire that comes off the uh, the parking light, the, the the first position on the on the headlight switch, which is the what I would call the parking light circuit, which is red with green on the later cars. We're not changing the whole loom here; just the dash loom. It's going to cost eight hundred and fifty dollars. That is the dollar insurance that would have prevented this damage. For those of you who are going to Valley Forge, we'll we'll see you there. Thanks very much.